Brian Little. <laughs>
this is the last thing you want to cut corners and, and ruin axles, you know, and then you're out of the whole axle carrier, ring and pinion, and the whole shebang. So we're driving to my little spot right now. I got some goodies um, in this, so well, hopefully I'll be able to drive it. I just seen like three cops driving there, and they might be, they might kick me out of there and tell me I can't be there filming. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, this is this is awesome, you guys. I, I freaking love it. I love it for sure, man. Um, but yeah, so we shall see. All right, you guys. So I was gonna get out and uh, walk around and stuff and talk, but I, I don't feel like getting messed with by the cops, um, especially because the whole state, you know, lockdown, all the stuff going on right now. I just don't feel like getting harassed while filming. So I, I'll let you guys see me uh, taking off. already up to 30. It's nice, man. This is nice. Wow. When we come to the next stop, I'll uh, I'll stop and let you guys see it um, take off from the start or from a stop, a dead stop. All right, this is the most hot you guys will be able to see. That's nice. That is so bad. Yes. I freaking love it. Oh, man. Oh, hopefully, I don't get kicked out of here. But we're pulling up to a movie parking lot just because it is bone dry empty. So we're going to try to film a little bit here and get down with it. All right. All right, you guys. I was just finished taking a couple thumbnail photos and did a little photo shoot. So, yeah. So, you guys. This is really nice. Um, my truck hasn't, I, my truck has not felt like this since I rode with stock tires. Um, for my OGG subscribers, when I before I put my first set of 20s on here, you guys remember I had stockies on here, uh, like bald ass stock tires on here for a little bit. Um, it feels like that, like right now with these wheels. And these wheels, if, if you got 37s and 24s or even the 22 by 14s, you know how heavy those wheels are. And you know what it feels like. Um, from stop, from zero to like, zero to 25, man, it, it's floating. Like, I think that's the easiest way to explain it. It's floating, like legitimately. Um, it's sick, man, I love it. Uh, I highly recommend gears. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my video where I uh, talked about the gears and stuff, I did get the gears from uh, eBay, but they're nitro gears, brand new, never used before. Um, I just got a good deal on them. Uh, I can tell you right now for nitro 430s, um, I know my boy Eric uh, over at OKC67 just ordered some 430s off of Summit. He said he paid like 11, I think, which is actually another good deal because if you order directly from uh, uh, Nitro, if you order directly from Nitro, you're going to be paying about 14 inches some change. A reminder for these trucks with the nine, nine and a quarter front end, because this the front axle is a 9.25 uh, AAM American axle manufacturing, you need a ring adapter for it because essentially what you're doing is you're putting a GM gear, a ring and pinion GM into a Dodge axle. So you need the ring adapter. So if you get the 430 kit with the master bearing kit, make sure you get the ring adapter included, okay? A um, couple other things, break-in period. Uh, everything I talked about, uh, no heavy towing, none of that craziness. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of city driving. So if anybody from Jacksonville knows about Jacksonville, y'all know it's not, <laughs> it, it, it's not a big city. So it's going to take me a while to rack up 500 miles. Uh, I'm probably going to be looking at about a month, maybe a little less than if I do, if I do a lot of back and forth. And especially with all this stuff going on right now, we, there's nowhere you can really drive because half the places are closed. So it's like, well, damn it. Damn if I do, damn if I don't. But um, yeah, you guys, so if you made it this far, I wanna show you guys a little something, something. Okay, you guys, I just remember the next thing I had to mention. So a couple videos ago, I posted, if you're going to regear your truck, you need this. That speedometer calibrator, okay? If you guys remember that video? I told you guys you needed this. You don't need this. This is a piece of shit, okay, or a piece of junk. You don't need this. Uh, it's completely useless on these trucks if you're gonna run 430 gears. Why? Because you cannot set 430 gear ratio on this truck. And on top of that, for a Dodge Ram 2500, whether it's a Dodge Ram or a Ram 2500, whatever you wanna call it, from if it's 2003 and up, I can't talk about second gens, 
you do not need to do anything in regards to programming uh gear ratios none of that okay um i actually went back and forth with the shop that did my work they did a good job awesome people but we we, we butted heads back and forth a little bit because their whole deal was they wouldn't warrant the work if i didn't have some sort of device i kept saying you didn't need it so i finally went on google and found that and i got it they went hooked it up it can't even program 430s it goes from 410s to 456s so it's pretty much useless and the listing for it doesn't state that or the website really because i read it on their website so you don't need that don't waste your money on that because you're going to waste about 220 something dollars i'm actually sending that back tomorrow because i don't need it it's a waste of time i checked my speedometer as best as i could with my cell phone gps and right now i'm about one mile per hour off uh i'm one mile per hour slower at certain speeds than what the phone says but other than that, it's damn near spot on. So for me, it's good. Um, I'll check it again when I start doing highway speeds, like your 70, 80 miles an hour, because usually that's when the biggest change occurs. But uh, I'll be checking that. Um, but yeah, you don't need that. So do not buy that. I'm taking that video off uh, YouTube, the one I put up the other, the other day, talking about you need that and stuff, because it, you do not need that. Um, so yeah, absolutely. But yeah, so long story short, that ended up happening. I didn't finish my story. So what happened was I went to, I called a bunch of places because the shop called me and was like, hey man, we tried it. There's no option for 430, what do you want to do? I said, give me a sec, let me make some calls. So I called the company, I'm like, hey, do you guys have a software update so you can do 430s? They're like, nope, it can only do 410s, 456s, and some other shit. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, you guys didn't mention that nowhere on your website and it doesn't state it nowhere on nowhere. So I got off the phone with them and then, uh, I called a couple, I called Dodge dealership, which was a complete waste of time. I don't even know why I bothered. I called a couple of local tire shops. Nobody, they kind of all sound like they had no, they, they like, they didn't even know what the fuck I was talking about. Um, so then I was like, who can I call? And then on my phone, I was like, you know what? I just shot a dark in the dark. Um, I call CJC off road. So if you guys are familiar with them, uh, they're based out of California. Uh, they do a ton. All they deal with is Jeep and Rams, more specifically Rams. They do a ton of Carly suspensions, custom tune suspensions. So I call CJC off road. Um, I called them. I said, Hey man, listen, I need help. I don't. Nobody can give me an answer. You guys always have Rams on your channel. You're always talking about Dodges. Do I need something to program my truck? They said, Absolutely not. That he said, I've done plenty of gear swaps on multiple Rams I've owned. He said, all you do, swap gears, break her in, and that's it. Because he said where the sensor is at, it's pretty much at the carrier. The speed sensor or whatever sensor that's counting the revolutions is at the carrier. So when the new gears are in, it's going to it's still sensing the new gears. So to the sensor, it still thinks, it doesn't know the difference. It just reads the speed. So I was like, okay, good. So I called back the shop and told him, I was like, you know what? Send it. You guys are good. I understand your warranty and all that. I get it. Just do the gears and we'll be good. The shop was super cool about it. Um, I actually still talked to them and they were like, yeah, man. The, they pretty much said like, if any damage has occurred due to a bad installation, they got it. But the thing is with gears is you pretty much find out immediately if gears got installed correctly because you're gonna hear the sh you're gonna hear it grinding and it ain't gonna feel right vibrating and stuff so you pretty much know from the start when when your gears are bad but um everything went good 100 percent smooth so super cool super happy about that it feels so weird being out here like behind a movie theater and it's empty it's just a creepy feeling all right hopefully you guys made it to the end of the video because i got two su two surprises for you oh that's another thing too Breaking oil, don't bother buying synthetic oil for breaking. Um, I bought some oil to break in and synthetic's not the thing, conventional. So I'm gonna be returning that to Walmart because they ended up putting their own oil in it. First thing we got, Big Daddy Milwaukee half inch impact, M18, brand new. I bought this sucker off eBay. The impact battery pack charger, brand new, 180 bucks. It's freaking steel. This thing, we're gonna be putting this baby to work soon. And we're gonna be putting it to work on this. So what I have here, oh, might as well take it out. What we have here is a redhead steering gearbox. That's right, brand new, made in the USA with instructions and everything. Brand new, you guys, this is it. This thing is so pretty. Um, but we all know that looks is not about looks. It's about production and, and productivity and, and how does it work? 
But we're going to find out when we put this on because Friday morning, I'm going to be outside bright and early filming. And we should have this on. We should have the move fourth gen steering on. We, we're going to swap out my knuckles. We're going to change ball joints. And we're going to put the BDS or the uh, Bilstein dual steering stabilizer steering on. So we're doing a whole, the whole front end is pretty much getting done Friday. It might not get all done Friday, but it's going to get, it's going to start getting done on Friday. Um, I'm putting this and I'm installing the BD uh, steering stabilizer. We're, we're, we're going to be putting this, this janky steering, the, the, the wobbly steering. We're putting this shit to rest because it's getting old now. All right. Everything else is in line and on point with this truck, but my pitman arm is shot. The output shaft is shot. I'm tired of messing with that stuff. So we putting all this shit to rest because and then I hopefully if everything goes the way it's supposed to we, we get tight uh tight steering you know i'll be able to put the video out for you guys so that way we can start spreading the word on how to solidify and, and the final solution for this crazy dodge steering um because up to this day unless you're prepared to drop twelve hundred dollars on synergy or whatever unless you're ready to drop crazy money like if you're just trying to find an economical way it's still expensive so but if it gets it fixed so be it you know what i'm saying so i figured i'd show you guys this super awesome i actually got to send off the old one to get my core charge back because this right here is about three well i had military discounts so i think i came out to like 290 um but it's a 250 dollar core charge so it bumped it up to about almost 600 so i gotta i, I want my money back on that too so we got redhead staring y'all and we got this sick <laughs> look at that torque we got that sick Mil milwaukee so just when I was wrapping up, freaking some cop pulled up. First time, first time ever being in this city. A cop came up to me and I didn't get a ticket. I, I feel honored. Um, <laughs> every other time a cop came up to me, I, I got a ticket or a warning or something crazy has always happened here. They, don't, they actually don't play around here. They're kind of, they're kind of dicks, but I like cops though, so whatever. But all right, you guys, so yeah. We're gonna wrap this up, man. We got a lot of cool stuff going on, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below. Uh, like the video, like always. We got a lot of stuff going on um, on the truck soon. You know, now we got the truck back from getting it re-geared. We can go ahead and, uh, I don't know, we can go ahead and, and get, get the ball rolling, man. We still gotta get that lift kit on. That lift kit's my priority right now. Um, so we're gonna be getting that done. Uh, getting this valve cover put on. I ordered all my AN fittings that I needed for my valve cover uh they're going to be on the way and then we're going to be getting them my man kevin hopefully and get some custom uh steel braided lines so it's going to be good times good times you guys so once again you guys thank you so much for checking out the channel until next time you guys take it easy have a good work week or a good weekend coming up and until next time y'all take it easy be safe